Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different video over some gameplay of DVRP. We're gonna do a talking head kind of video. This is a video that um is gonna be on a topic of a game that we've all been waiting for for at least for the past few years. We've been waiting for this game, and um, there have been some recent controversy going around on the internet regarding this game. And I'm sure by the title and by my description just now, you guys would have already known which game I'm talking about. Right now, I'm talking about the GTA 6 leaks and um, what it means for us as gamers, what it means for persons like us who have been waiting so long to have a new game to play from Rockstar Games and Take-Two Entertainment. So let's dive in here to this kind of a topic. Um, the first thing that I kind of want to discuss is that i think that the gta 6 leaks it gives us both a negative and a positive however i do believe that it gives us more of negatives than a positive now the rumors are is that it's a 16 year old the hacker is a 16 year old child who went around and um basically leaked all the leaked some source code leaked some footage and stuff like that let's deal with the positive first Actually, let's deal with the negatives first and let's go on to the positives. Now, the negatives are that this person complicate. Well, it makes the process of the game longer. This person just definitely made the wait for us longer. And us playing GTA 5 for nine years, guys, it's like it got to the point where people had to make their own stuff for it to be continuously fun. I don't think that if... 5m or modding or anything for gta 5 came out i think that game would have been dead by now and honestly i think it's another couple of years we have to wait especially now for with these leaks and all these stuff going around about the game they have to potentially go in and redo a lot of the source code they have to go in and try to make things a little bit different because if they continue, if they launch the game with the source code that they, that was currently leaked, they could be susceptible for hacking, cheating, botting, all sorts of stuff that they don't need as a company and they don't need as an entertainment. Because then that stops players from who want to play the game honestly and who want to continue playing the game honestly from doing what they have to do you know, in the game, etc. Because they're going to be having, they're going up against people with an unfair advantage. That complicates a lot of stuff for the game. And I think that for the developers to go through all of this, it's, it's kind of demotivating. And their work and everything that they've been trying. I'm a guy who don't like, who doesn't like um, spoilers. And I'm a guy who doesn't, who likes spoilers, right? And I'm also a guy who likes to see something new, who likes to be surprised, who likes that these things, you know, these things come up and they, 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 they surprise me. You know, I want to be surprised by a new game. And now I feel like it's, it's a case where this is no longer going to surprise us. This is no longer going to make it seem like a fresh new thing. I mean, yes, we might play and everything, but I wanted to go in there blind. I wanted to go in with the, with no knowledge of the game and be able to interact everything especially now that i'm a youtuber that i wanted to be able to go in there and see the game for what it is what the, what art the developers have created but with this being leaked they're gonna have to force they're gonna be forced to change up some stuff and maybe might not put as much time into it or if they put more time into it it's gonna take longer until we get here and as i said just now it's been nine years we've had GTA 5. They should have had a GTA 6 at least four to five years ago. And I think that with this going on, all of this drama and everything, Rockstar has to put so much more funding and so much more energy, time, resources, and everything to make sure that their game is secure compared to if this never happened. So this person should be sued with the full extent of the law. This person should have rock stars and lawyers breathing down their neck and getting compensation for the issues that they've had. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of game here for me, a little bit of advice. There are a couple of you guys out there who are extremely good hackers, extremely good with computer and code and stuff like that. 
And I don't think that being dishonest is the way to go around it. It's criminal. You're basically stealing somebody's important information and selling it off on the internet for money. And with today's global market being the most profitable thing is to have is information. I mean, it's a good business model. But at the same time, you're you're under scrutiny of the law. You're under scrutiny of the regular person. And that is just something that is not worth it, especially with the law behind you. Now, these lawyers from Rothstar, they will be relentless. They will continue to hunt you down and and take whatever they need to take because as a company as a corporation they're interested in their sales they're interested in their secrets and if you go out there and you start leaking those and you know you're you're committing these crimes the law is going to be more incentivized to make sure that you are punished for your crimes so it's not a good idea for you guys to start hacking and stuff. What I do think it is a good idea for you guys to monetize your talents. Use them in a very, in a very um, ethical way. There are companies out there who wish to have persons test their systems, their security systems, etc. To make sure that they are, they are secure enough for that, for that company or that business to continue to utilize that. And I, don't, and I think that's a way for you guys to go about using your talents. Also use, utilize your talents for game developing and for others on website development. Because when pe- persons are faced with a problem, it is very, very crazy to see how much innovation happens. And a lot of innovation happens when, you know, they're presented with a problem, they have to find a way to fix it. And you guys going in here hacking, yes, it's going to cause some sort of intervention within these companies, but it's also going to cause some some major issues on the major population of persons the majority of the persons going around just with that post that i read from the hacker it seems like you did all this over a monetary gain imagine how much more you can work for if you are how much more your skills are worth if you were doing this ethically if you were doing this in in collaboration with a bigger company and you were not taking normal you know pay for for a normal no for an answer imagine how big of your how big your prospect could be if you had done this the right way and there's no right way to to leak somebody's stuff bro you're stealing information and selling it on the internet and then blackmailing the company who wants that information kept a secret those things are not ethical and i think karma has a really strange way of getting you in the back So those are the negatives that I am discussing. Now, the positives now within this leak and um, the positives is that I think that Rockstar should have at least given us something to state that, you know, the game is going to be in in some sort of a development or give us a timeline or something that they that they had to make sure that, you know, they garner interest early, that they keep people engaged. You know, dropped a little bit of something without it being spoilery. You know, get people interested in your new game. Get people waiting for the new game and garner that interest all together because you have to, you have to deliver. After GTA 5, guys, you have to deliver, Rockstar. You have to make sure that the game that you're building, and I'm pretty sure they're probably going to do it, They're definitely, they're probably going to get a nice game for us next time, right? You have to deliver on a good game and you should have at least given us something on what we are going to be doing, except for a person and and persons not, um, instead of persons having to rely on leaks and insider information, persons trying to manipulate your employees, etc., you should have at least given us something to keep the, the, the population satisfied with whatever you're delivering next. And I think that Rockstar needs to just be a little bit more open with what they have going along with their game. What is in the pipeline? Because a lot of persons are going to be very, very interested in your game. They're very, very interested in, in seeing what's next, especially in a game that we all love, GTA V. Now, we got a good we got a good look and a glimpse at the graphics. The graphics on a testing build looks better than on GTA 5. 
And that's a big W for me because think about it. Think about it. If this is only a testing build, imagine what is going to happen when they're finished polish the game. Just imagine what kind of graphics we could be getting, you know, when they finally put in all of the art, the ray tracing or DLSS or whatever they need to do to polish up that game. And imagine what kind of graphical fidelity that we're going to be getting when we when this game does drop imagine imagine what kind of animations and systems that we could get from the leaks i saw certain things in there that could be really 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 cool in the next game imagine these this we, we got a glimpse of this stuff and this is what they're planning i think that we're gonna have an amazing game next time i think that roster is gonna really deliver on this especially since they're taking so much time to complete this project but I want them to do it correctly. I want them to have a good set of writers and a good set of people to have this entire game just be worth the 9, 11, 13 years wait that we've been waiting this entire time. And by the way, when I'm making this video, it's about a, a nine years and two days since, since GTA 5 was released. So let's say we wait two more years um, when, when this game is what? let's say when gta 5 is like what 10 10 11 years old imagine it releases let's say 2024 i think that would be such a good w for them to just have that game ready for us around that time especially with the gaming industry right now and what we are looking forward to we're, we have so many older games that are that are starting to go old call of duty just changed up just about changed up their, their Modern Warfare game and made something different. And I'm looking forward to playing that game as well. And, I'm, and as my channel is primarily GTA 5 content, I wish to see this new GTA 6 game. And I hope that you guys do not look at these leaks or don't really take these leaks for granted because as I said, they are spoilery. Yes, it gives you a, a little bit of an insight into what's coming, but it also stops the the company the developers from you know focusing on our on making our game good and instead they're focusing now on protecting their secrets and these hackers right now they should be prosecuted by on, on the full extent of the law yes they gave us something that was what we needed that rockstar should have done but you cannot force a hand like that because then the company is going to make the consumer base suffer for that but let me know what you guys think about this GTA 6, well, these GTA 6 leaks. Well, let me know what you think about Rockstar Entertainment, this hacker, etc. Um, thank you guys for all of the support on my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn, turn on your bell notifications so you know whenever I post. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys again. Have a great day. Have a great week. Peace, everybody.